zipper towards the back. Yes, so my side. Well, not your side. The top. What's up, babe? Hey, how's it going, Pop-Up Camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin, where we talk about everything Pop-Up Camper related. So in this video, I wanna go over what modifications we do to our Pop-Up Camper mattress in order to make it significantly more comfortable. Now, this kind of all kick-started off when we first got our 2008 StarCraft 2409. My wife complained, and I understand a little bit of where she was coming from, but it, it felt like you were sleeping on the wood subframe of the slide out bed. It was that bad. I think essentially on the StarCraft, they made that pop-up camper mattress out of like some sort of compressed um, batting or something like that, that really did not hold up well. Fortunately in our new Jayco, the stock or factory mattress that it came with was a pretty decent foam. I think it was like a four inch foam or thereabouts. So right off the bat, we're already doing better than we were. But what we did is we carried over a lot of the lessons and a lot of the modifications we did in our StarCraft into our Jayco here. So first and foremost, what we carried over is we brought over those foam interlocking tiles. And I think ours are only like quarter inch or three eighths inch, but you can buy those uh, foam interlocking tiles in a myriad of colors and, and different thicknesses. So whatever suits you, we just bought what we could find for cheap and we use that as kind of a base layer for our mattress. And not only does that provide a little bit more cushion, but it also provides um, a little bit of insulative uh, factor, if you will, underneath the mattress. So if you're pop-up camping in extreme cold or extreme hot weather, it helps out a little bit. Going above and beyond that, what we've done for our mattress is we've incorporated two um, I think they are one and a half inch thick memory foam toppers and they're the egg, egg crate variety. So what we did is we took one and with the egg crates up, flipped another one on top and kind of interlocked that egg crate. So in actuality, I think that egg crate foam, that memory foam is about two inches thick. One and a half plus one and a half normally doesn't equal two, but in our case, it more or less does. So if you're looking at something similar to us, I highly recommend picking up something in that two inch range to add on top of your foam mattress. Because if you go too big, because obviously you can buy three, four, I don't know, maybe even thicker memory foam toppers, you run the risk of not being able to close your pop-up camper roof. So if you want to be safe or play it safe, go with something a little bit thinner and but still getting that extra comfort out of your mattress. Now, we go above and beyond that. You could definitely stop there and you'd have a much more comfortable pop-up camper mattress. But what we do is we throw on a synthetic uh, mattress topper that gives a little bit more fluff to our mattress and makes it even that much nicer. Now, what we found in the StarCraft, and we haven't quite tested it out in the Jayco yet, but putting that memory or the the synthetic um, topper on top of our mattress made it too tall in order to close our roof when everything's closed up. So what we do is we just roll that up, put it back in the bag, and then we actually store that in our shower. That's 
it's a handy spot to put that while you're traveling. Just to kind of summarize, we we of course have the interlocking foam tiles. We add on a, a couple pieces of memory foam and slide that into our mattress cover. So it's kind of one unit. And then of course we put on the, on the mattress topper as well. Now, finally, don't neglect bringing some good pillows pop-up camping. I know you might be tempted to just run to the store and buy the cheapest pillows you can, but we actually have the exact same memory foam pillows that we have in our house, in our pop-up camper, just because those make all the difference in the world and really make it a much more comfortable sleeping experience. So that's how we do our um, mattress in our pop-up camper. That's the modifications we make to make it that much better. Let us know if uh, you guys do anything different or may have any additions to our system that you think we could incorporate it. We'd really appreciate that. And as always, guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.